Uh, hey, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitzel Tower, and this is Tower Vlog 11. Um, anyway, today I'm going to be sharing some stuff because I know that all of you guys love it when I talk about myself and what's going on in my life. Totally. Um, well, I mean, I hope you guys do. Um, anyways, yeah, as I mentioned previously in the last video, um, I am going on a road trip in two days. Um, we're going to a concert. Um, me, my mom, and my father. And we're going on a really, really, really long road trip. That'll be cool because I get to listen to a lot of music. And we're going to see, uh, Pink. That lady. Um, I don't really know much about her or her music. But I, what I do know is that I used to listen to her a lot as a child, I think. Um, I had this mixtape that was made for me in 2016 by my mother on our Windows computer. Uh, the Windows computer, we still have it. It's just very, very old and it takes five hours to work and to load. Um, anyways, so yeah, there was a Pink song on my mixtape when I was six. That was a cool mixtape. I really appreciate my mom for making that. So yeah, th th thank you to her. But yeah, we're going there, and like, it was so fun getting my outfits and stuff ready, like, I just, I just put my outfits and stuff ready together, and um, yeah, I, I got a lunch, a, I bought a bunch of cool clothes, but you see, because my dad's coming on the trip, right, um, I can't exactly dress emo, because, like, he, he doesn't like emos, he thinks that we're Satan worshippers, um, so, yeah, I, I, I couldn't wear any bad merch, sadly, um, but I did choose some other cute shirts, and and I found this jacket. It looks like a leather jacket, it, it, except it's it's not a leather jacket. It's probably just like fake leather, and it's like light pink. And I thought that it would be perfect for the concert. And also, I've never worn it before. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited with that. And I got all my makeup ready, and all my accessories ready, and I'm so excited. But you see, because I'm going on a road trip in two days. Um, I need to record a lot of videos on today, which is Tuesday the 5th of March, right now, so that I have enough videos to last while I'm gone on the road trip so that I can just edit these and post these. So that's going to explain why I'm going to be wearing the same shirt in all of these next few videos. Um, but this is a really cool shirt, so... Like, I mean, come on, can you blame me? Um, what else is being going on? Oh yeah, that's right. So today I got my results back from business studies because like we had to make a poster um, advertising a product, an imaginary product. My product that I chose was cool bug things to bug your friends with. And it was a cute poster that I made on MS Paint. And I got my results thing back. Wait, where is it? Ow. Um, anyways, yeah, yeah, I got it back, and I don't know if I can show this because I don't want you guys to track my school, but basically this is a piece of paper, and on the other side it just has my grade on it. And I got an excellence, which is like the highest score. Well, the high, like, the grading system in New Zealand is like F1, which means you failed and you did horribly. Then there's F2, and that's just like, mm, you didn't achieve it, but it's, it's not that that bad and then there's achieved and that means it, it's just satisfactory like huzzah you did the work not the best but it's gl glad you did it and then there's merit and that's just like okay oh, oh it's not perfect but you, you did it and it was good um and then there's excellence and excellence is just like wow yeah you, you did the assi assignment perfectly congratulations um I got excellence on it. My score was 26 of 30. Um, and basically it was just like for like graphic design and stuff. And how I worked in class. The reason I got a 26 out of 30 instead of a 30 out of 30 was just because it, it, it looked old fashioned. That's what it says on the bottom. And that I should probably make it look more modern. But you see, the thing about that is that it was supposed to look old-fashioned retro. Um, because something I noticed is that, like, all the other kids with their posters, they were all doing it on Canva, and all of their posters looked very modern and stuff. Not that that's a bad thing or anything, because that's pretty cool. But 
the assignment was to also make it stand out. And I was just like, hey, well, what if I just not do what everyone else is doing and make mine more like retro, like old school, like, you know. I made it on MS Paint and I used lots of nice, bold, vibrant colors, um, nice little shadows. And overall, it just looked really nice. It was low quality as well, which just embraced the 2000s-esque vibe to it. Um, don't think my teacher liked that, though. But it's okay. I thought it looked cool. <laughs> um, I should stop talking now. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all of the latest updates. Bye! <laughs>